Welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at the page border, page color and the watermark. Okay, now uh, depending on which version of Office you are using, you can go to the Home tab over to the Paragraph section and you're looking for Borders. When you find that, you click on the little, the little down arrow, go down to Borders and Shading and here you'll see a number of options. Okay, so we've got three tabs which is Borders, Page Border and Shading. Now this border I can apply to anything and you'll see I've got a number of options. So let's just go to 3D border. Um, I can select the style of border that I want. So I'm going to click on this one. Underneath that I can select any color I choose. I'm going to select this yellow. You can see as I do that what's happening here. Things are beginning to change. And then the thickness of that I can select. And now I've selected a border. I've said what style it needs to be, the color and the width. Now in the preview section will show me what the border will look like generally. Now I can apply it either to a paragraph or to the entire page. Okay, remember we are on the borders tab only. So um, it'll usually just be the paragraph. And if I click OK, you'll see for that paragraph, there's my border. Okay, so that's how we put that in. Right now. Let's go back. Let's go to our borders again, borders and shading. And please remember, if you are in um, 2016, Office 2016, you can go to the layout, sorry, the design tab, and you can go straight to page borders over here. And you'll see it brings you to exactly the same place, but to the next tab. So again, the same applies. I can go with a 3D border, but you'll see here it says apply to whole document because it's a well, I've actually got options like whole document, this section, first page only. Well, let's just say whole document because I've only got one page. <laughs> All right, let's choose a different style, um, a different color, width. And now I've got things like art. Okay, so depending on what they ask you, you can actually go and pop in a border like all stars. This is the preview over here. Again, they'll tell you what they wanted to apply to in this case I'll just choose whole document and I click OK and there you'll see there's my page border now going up to this tab I can now change the page color and you can see as I move through the colors um, that's basically how I'm going to change it choose a color and there you go so now I've created a page border a paragraph border and I've changed the color of the page as well and then the last one is just the watermark so if I click on watermark, yeah, you can see there are a number of default watermarks. Okay, so if I select that one, there it will show me confidential. Okay, so it is sort of gray in the background, so I can have normal text over that. However, I might want a custom watermark. Okay, in other words, one that where, where I have my own um, text in it, I can say I don't want a watermark. I can even insert a picture as a watermark or in this case um, I'm just going to change the text to uh, this is private and I'm going to change the color let's say to that yeah everything looks fine click OK aha and now I've got a custom watermark and folks that is how we can change the page border page color and the watermark. 